Hey everybody, it's Christine of Twinkle Plans for Day. The other day I posted on my reel a quick flip through of this Mickey memory planner with all my favorite memories of, of Disney using the new Disney Happy Planner line. So someone requested, I got a few requests actually to do a video on it. So this is my video. I'm gonna show you how you can make your own with products you probably already have at home, especially if you're a Disney fan. So I'm gonna give you a little glimpse of the book and then I'll show you how to use it, what you need. So opening page, it says time to make the magic happen. I've got a sticker here. I've got some polka dot vellum and then a clear um, acetate page with a star and there's Mickey there and this is my fold out page, it says Mickey Memories, with a little bit of journaling, and my favorite picture is on the other side. This is just a scrapbook page, more pictures with some frames, with some memories. So just a quick flip through, it's just a basic scrapbook at this point here. And I'm gonna show you how you can make your own. It is so simple. So the things you need to make this planner are, I'm using classic discs. You can really use expander discs too if you like, if you really want a bulky, chunky album. I do love chunky albums, but I think for this one, my classic discs were sufficient, plus I wanted the Disney ones. So these are the uh, Mickey Ears discs, and they come in a pack of nine, or 11, sorry. So let me show you what you're gonna need for this project. So you need your discs. You need a mini album. This, for, like this one, for example, this is the wild styled mini one. It's just a notebook, but if you look inside, it is black and white striped the same. So you just turn this inside out like so. Actually, what you could do is just take this one out and that would be the cover and put this on the back. So you're turning the covers inside out. So on the front, you would have live creatively and you can put a little sticker on the front. Now this sticker that I have here is from the squad box that the Happy Planner sent me of all the new Disney items. This was the sticker that held everything together. The There was, uh, if you looked at my YouTube video with of the unboxing, there is some tissue paper, some polka dot tissue paper, and this was holding it together. I used that for the front of my album. So you need one of these books and they're readily available. You can get many different styles. Just use whatever one you want. I just like this one. I use this one because I love the stripes. Inside was another one. I can't even remember which book this was. I used sticker paper and this is what a sticker paper. Oh gosh, do I even have a sheet with me? Yes, I do. So plain white sticker paper, you can buy it on bulk, in bulk from Amazon. I use it for everything. It's so practical and it just covers the, what was the front cover of this book. So now it's the inside cover and I covered it up just to make it white. So there you go. So you need sticker paper, you need some discs, you, you use a mini book, and then you use some adhesive. I use like, I like these roller tapes. This is Tombow adhesive. I have another one. This is also Tombow. You can use washi tape that you have that's similar. Anything that you have, any washi tape that you have, and I know that you probably have some. Uh, black and white stripes would be perfect. This is a black scalloped one. And then, of course, the Disney stickers from the Happy Planner. I have all three of them here. Now, they are sold out online and most likely sold out at your Joann's. So if you don't have any stickers from the Happy Planner, you can also go to Daiso. Daiso is a dollar store, an Asian dollar store, and I was able to find a couple of Disney products, Disney stickers. Um, so I used a lot of these in this mini album and they also had these cute little red envelopes that you can put um, memorabilia in and then stick them in your planner and I'll show you how to do that later. So you need that. You need a bunch of scrapbook paper, any kind of scrapbook paper that you have that's red, white, uh, black and white or like a mustard yellow would look, look really well too and you'll punch them into, uh, into cards that will fit into the book. So I used, I'll show you... I had one piece of scrapbook paper and it ended up giving me about six pages. Where is the scrapbook paper I had of Disney? So I know Joann's have them. So this is the paper that I used a little bit of. And I also used paper from the Happy Planner collection, like I'll show you here. This is a sheet from the accessory pack and they had mini on the bottom. So I just cut off a, this is, two by three. So I just cut off a two by three section of this paper and I had a page for my planner, for this memory planner. And I did that, I will show you how I did that with this punch. 
This is the punch I used. It is from We Are Memory Keepers. So it punches, this comes off completely. And you could take your scrap of paper, like for example, I used this one. You see, I punched all the cards on this scrap of paper. So I'm gonna show you how it's done on this piece, this last piece here. This, this was a cute uh, pattern I thought would look good. So actually there's not enough paper for one more, but I'm just gonna show you how I did it here. It goes on top and it's magnetic, so it holds it, holds it into place. And then you use all your pressure. I'm just gonna go back a little bit here so you can see a little bit better. There we go. And I'm going to push down. You really have to use all your force. And then you have a perfectly cut card, especially if, you're, if your scrap of paper is a little bit thicker. You have a perfectly cut card for your planner. So after that, You've got to punch it into your planner, so you need a happy planner punch. You can also cut it out with scissors. You don't really need the punch, but this you kind of do need. <laughs> this is the punch that holds, um, that actually puts it in the planner. So, and there are these lines on the bottom. You cannot use these lines, unfortunately, because if I do it down here, it is skewed. The line, they won't be perfectly uh, in the middle of the page. Actually, let me just try that, because now I... I'm doubting that. Let me just try. Because I thought I had to do it in the middle, but let me just see. I'm gonna punch it and show you. I'm gonna put it in. Oh, it actually does work. <laughs> so you can just line it up on the bottom. Oops, I took out my vellum sheet as well. On the bottom, there are these lines. So you line your paper up to the bottom here and it does seem to work. When I did it, it didn't seem to, to be centered. So I put it in the middle, but just now when I did it, it was centered. So there you go. Okay, so once you do a whole bunch of cards, now I also had a whole bunch of cards from Project Life. Now, if you're familiar with Project Life, Becky Higgins had this scrapbook system ways back where you bought a whole bunch of little Project Life cards and put them into um, plastic folders and you scrapbook that way. And, and these sets came in, you got a whole bunch of cards uh, together and they have different a whole bunch of different styles so if you have a style that's like black and white it would go good with this planner uh, these actually are not Becky Higgins but it's that same kind of pocket life um, cards so once you have the cards you can they're the same size and you can punch them into your planner so that makes it really practical if you have those cards if not you can just take scrap of paper and use something like this to cut them to punch them the right size, or you can just cut them. Use a cutting tool like this one. This one is Fiskars. You can cut a cutting tool like this, where you can measure two by three. Everything measurements are here, and you can just cut your pages that way. It's a little time consuming, but you'll get the same result. So once you do that, once you have a whole bunch of pages together, then the fun part begins. You can just use your stickers like these I found from Daiso, and just start decorating, and that's the fun part. I also like use some quotes. Here, I use some quotes from the Gold Star Quotes and Happy Quotes. These are Happy Planner stickers, and I thought this one worked perfectly. Time to make the magic happen. So I thought that'd be great for the first page. Then I had some vellum. I just happened to have some vellum that I punched out. This is an acetate page. This is from some Happy Planner packaging. And if you have some Happy Planner packaging, this is perfect. It's so great to have different kinds of, uh, of pages for your planner. And I love that the fact, the fact that it's see-through and you can just add stickers to it to make it fun. This is a fold-out page and I'll show you how I made that. I took an eight by 11 sheet of white cardstock and I sliced it down the middle. I don't happen to have another full sheet, but this is this is what it looks like. This is what it looked like, and then I sliced it down so you get half of it. Then you fold. Hold on. Let me just see how I did that. Yeah, I folded it once in the middle, and then once equal on equal sides of this, and I'll show you how I did that. It's actually really easy. So there was an eight by eleven, and you just cut it in half using one of those the cutting tool. And then I happen to have, and if you were a crafter, I would totally recommend, this is really, really old, but it still works. It is a score, a scoreboard. They have them at Michael's and Joann's, I'm sure. You take, 
It comes with a, it comes with a bone folder, but I don't have mine anymore. I really do need to invest in it. Oh, I do have a bone folder. <gasps> I can't believe it. I do have it. Yeah, so I'll show you. So this is 11 inches long. So I'm going to do eight and a half or five and a half. And that's the middle. And then I'm going to score it right down the middle. I can't believe I the bone folder was there. I looked forever for it. I had no idea it was in there. Oh, that's crazy. And then once you do that, you turn it over and you find the halfway point from here to here. Uh, that's like 275, 275. So a 2.75 here. So you're doing the opposite. So you can just do turn it over and do 2.75 here and you should have equal parts. So once you have those scored and they're opposite, so that's scored one way and then this is scored the other way. See what I mean? So now you have a fold out page. And how do you attach that to your little book? I'll show you that. What I did was I used one of these adhesive tabs. Now I had a clear one for this one. It was my last clear one. Where, where is it? Here we go. My last clear one. But you could probably make your own from packaging. So these are little, I don't even know if you can see it with the glare. There you go. These are clear tabs. They have adhesive to them. So they attached right to my book, to my page and then I can attach it without cutting through the page. It goes right into my planner. So if I don't have any more, so the next time I do this, I want to make my own using Happy Planner packaging. And I know I had some Happy Planner packaging here somewhere. Here we go. So when you buy a planner, it comes with packaging like this. You probably are familiar with it. So what you can do is just cut open a little, cut open like, three or four that you want, maybe just even two, you cut it down and then you could adhere it or staple it to whatever you want to attach to your album. And then you have an adhesive tab if you don't want to punch through what you're using. Like I didn't want to punch through the paper. So anyway, that's how I attach that. And you, anytime, any kind of memorabilia, like a map or whatever you want to do to add to your album, you can also put like envelopes and put them in. There's so many different ways to do this. And what's good about this too is that you can have bulk. You do want it to be bulky. So any kind of embellishment that's thicker, like I used some, this is a frame, a scrapbook frame from I think crepe paper that I use. Doesn't matter that it's thick. Doesn't matter that it's bulky because this kind of album is, is good when it's bulky. So what else can I tell? Once you, once you put all your pages in, then it's just a matter of decorating with stickers. And that's kind of like I use stickers from Happy Quotes here. It says my happy place. Um, think happy thoughts, that's from one of the quote books. These, that's the Daiso sticker. This is from uh, one of the Happy Planner. Actually, most of these stickers aren't even Happy Planner stickers. Um, they're this collection here from this, from this sheet from Daiso. And this is from the paper. I just cut up some of the paper that came with uh, the accessory pack from my squad box. And I use that in here as well. So I have the stickers, but it's basically really easy just to use the stickers from one of these books and just add whatever you like. So simple, so fun. If you make a mistake, just rip it out and use, it and use, an, use another sheet of paper. So easy. If you have any questions about this, please DM me, put a comment below and I'll get back to you because I'm hoping I didn't leave anything out, but there's a last look of it. This is a clear adhesive paper that I use packaging. I use from packaging that I just cut out. I put it in there and then I just attached a frame to it. And this, I have to put something on the back cause that's kind of ugly. So I had some, also some black clear, regular, not clear, regular plain black cardstock that I'll probably add some stickers to. And these are project life cards from way back. And so there you go, I added some stars. This is from stickers from one of the book. And there you go, I have lots of memories still to make. So I left lots of, of pages still open. That's a celebration sticker from one of the quote sticker books. So there you go, that's my album. I hope that this video was helpful in some way. But again, if you have questions, feel free to ask me. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.